Now try to figure this one out. This is what a light worker slash enlightened being would say to everybody. Although, unless they were enlightened or listening deep enough, they wouldn't even be able to understand and think that I'm just spewing out some silly words. But check this out. All the times people have ever talked about the Platians and the far-off beings and the past history and all the millennia that have gone by and all the future and all the stuff. Okay, some people would say that's science fiction and that's weird. Say, some of it we say is history because it's just people and pioneers and dinosaurs and aborigines. So we, we see that it worked its way up from this scraping, scrounging type being who had to crawl and suffer but now has made it. But then we also have a different side where we are now thinking that future civilizations or future millennia would contain beings of might and wisdom and powers and and harmony that we wouldn't imagine. But see, people aren't thinking the harmony part. They're thinking of all the destruction and all the capabilities we have because they're thinking from a now mind with lasers and big spaceships. And and for someone to say, that's all goofy sci-fi stuff. That's not real. Here's the thing. At the same exact time, it's all that's real, but it's also not real at all. But that's because you have to understand being enlightened yet not knowing you are because you are in light and you are an entity, E-N-E-D. Enlighten, E-N. You haven't plussed it yet because you didn't know it was a thing. It's not here yet. Enlighten. So I'm here to enlighten you. You do have light in you. But... Until you know that, then it's enlightenment because now it's become part of your mentality and you know it to be who you are as a man among men. So the reason that only people who understand this or really listen closely will even get it or along those lines of the words we have to say it, people who would be practicing enlightenment or be practicing spirituality because those are also words, they are things and they do mean stuff. But we're all spirits, and we're all enlightened, and we all have some consciousness. You can't say that anybody is 0% of any of those things. They may say they are. They may not have any idea that they are, but they are. So even though all those things are, are, are fake, they're all completely real. Because you have to understand this deep down that you, whatever you may call God, the creator, the universe, the structure that has created things from non-seen, non-visible, non-real to being here, being able to feel it, touch it, have senses that activate when stimulated by it, those things are possible. So you're in a body right now that can do these things. You can look at another body of information, a bit of information, and see colors and figures and pixels that aren't people, but they're pixels. So they are energies. And as those energies, you can be anything. And you have been. You've been doing it all the time. But when you leave this body, you definitely really have to be conscious of what you want to do when you get into another body. Because if you want to experience what it's like to be a Tyrannosaurus Rex, guess what? When you are a Tyrannosaurus Rex, no one of a speaking lingo of American English speaking language or any Greek, Latin, Shiite, any background from our world is going to talk to you in a language that says, hey man, you're a dinosaur. So when you are, whatever you are, looking like what we call a dinosaur, you're not a dinosaur, but you actually are what we'd call a dinosaur because those patterns actually can explain Earth to all Earth beings. And when I say beings, I mean the light that has no form inside your body that's actually listening to this when it's conscious, and the one that is being blocked off by the meat body you have that is listening to something else going on inside your ego head. 
And that's not wrong. It's completely right. And I'm saying this as the you inside your brain. But you're not trying to listen to it because you want to listen to the you inside your brain that has your voice. But there really is no voice. That's also a memory construct from you talking and hearing it back in your own ears from what you think you sound like. That's how amazing you are, God. And that's how amazing I am. And that's how amazing every being that we see is. Now let's bring it out of them so we can make this world what it was meant to be. Nothing against government or world leaders or anything like that, but there are no such things as world leaders. Each of us is leading this world to somewhere. And if we do it together, it'll work. If we don't, it won't. So let's get our heads out of our asses and really do it. Because God wants that. And so do you. Because you're one and the same.